Okay, let's see. All right, great tense. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're in class. We are, ladies and gentlemen, going to start applying the knowledge that we've gained up to now. So, for the first time, you're going to be confronted with actual problems that you have been equipped to solve, but you're going to have to draw from that which you have learned up to now. How many of you reading that question the first time? It says here, copy figure one, and of course showing all the necessary constructions, but the only thing that they give you is this base AB. Let's zoom in for you to really see what's going on here. How many of you like, how do I get from here to here? And like, oh no. Who of you still stuck? I won't flip the screen. Who of you still stuck? Quite a number. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of tips. You have to ask yourself, what do I have to my disposal? What does he ken us what I get? What do I know here? I know that they have given me A, B. Do you agree with that? And they, I also know my end product needs to be that. What do I have here? I have a circle. I have a triangle which has three corners. And what about this triangle looks familiar to you? If you kind of take away the other triangle and all of that, have you ever done three points that goes through a circle? Okay, so can I stop teaching now? Can I get my new eyes to honey? What is known for us to get to that end point? Where do I have to start? I have to start with what is with me. Okay? I must begin with what by me is. I can not now here try to do what I've never done. I fat my passer and I can begin to draw a like being a triangle to take. And I am going to want to draw a equal sided triangle. So I have the base. Flip it. Yes or no? Yes. At least it's a start. At least I'm moving in the right direction. At least I'm getting some marks. I've got one part done. Do you see if I've gotten this first part done? There's potential for a bit of confidence to flood into my brain. <laughs> see that? I can hear something that you can say, Shop. Now is it all so much good up spoon? What's the steps now to get a circle that goes through this? I have to draw a bisector on each one of these three sides. Moet a middle loot line taken. Who do I do? Vat my passer. Enige groote, groter as die middel. A boogie. Wacht, kom, ek maak het a bigie kleiner, want dit gaan baie groot is. Okay, any size bigger than half of this line, so you can just estimate it. Okay, I'm over half here. Construction line. Construction line. Keeping the radius the same. Construction line. Construction line. And that is now a perpendicular bisector. And it's all construction. Draw that in. Okay. I can pick any one of the other two. Same thing. You can change your, by all means, you can change your radius. Let's keep it the same. Okay. So that one is still being used. Flip it. That one and that one. Still, still the same point. Are you with me? Construction line. So right here, smack bang in the middle, is a point which both bisectors cross. Right there. And if I now go with confidence, on each one of these corners, I can go double check myself. Okay, a little bit of an accuracy problem here with mine. It's not quite for me, not for you. Let's double check that. Okay, and I'm going to draw a circle. Okay, that's my circle drawn. Happy? Yeah. Alright, and now does this radius change at all? Ach, the the um, safe funny driehoeken verander it. Is it the same for all this these triangles? Mm -hmm. So what I do, I just go back here. All right, same radius. 
I know this is a common one. It's given to me. It's this same one that they have here. And I come back here and I use... Okay, so I have applied that which was taught to me earlier. Any reason for you not to be able to draw this? Is there anything that I've now done that you have not learned yet? Yeah, naturally. Everything here I have drawn with you. What are you, what are you guys saying? Like, did you go get it? No, sir. Are you getting it now? No, sir. Excuse? <laughs> I'm not, sir. Yes. Did right. you guess anything? No. Did you estimate anything? No. Did you construct? Have you, did you use construction to get it done? Um, yeah. Construction is what I did here, doing bisectors. Did you do any bisectors or perpendicular, perpendicular bisectors? Well, that's all right. I, I'll come and check now. Maar hierdie kan nie gebeur dier kamma kamma raai raai riepa nie. Ja. Ok. We, we have, um, we have done similar drawings before. Nee? Ok, so they've given us the base. Stuggel. Hey, did you give, I'll give you a chance now. Well, they've given us the base. We need a circle that goes through points A and B. But for that I need a center. Do you agree with me? Okay. We have done before, we have done three points. You remember they've given us that kind of three, two lines and we said, draw a circle that cuts through all three of those corners. You remember it. Okay. So that's exactly what I did. I, I went and I drew my, drew my triangle. So using that to get a regular triangle, that you can do. And then to get a perpendicular bisector on any one of these sides, any size, any grote op your passer, okay? Flip them. Daine, daine. That is the perpendicular bisector for AB. Pick any other side. We pick this one. Did another arc, another arc, flipped it, another arc, another arc. Now that line is a perpendicular bisector on this line. Where they meet was the center for this circle. Why is the radius van hierdie punt af? Okay. All right. Wow, now it's becoming big on this side. I think this line is maybe too far. Okay. If my compass can't, can you so far? Can you listen so good, Mark? My pastor can you so good, Mark? Okay. This line is way too big for me. So, for the sake of you, you can ignore that line. And you just draw a shorter line on top. Kom ons teken maar net ons eie lijn nie boe, want daar is net te lang. Niemand het so'n groot passer in hierdie land nie. Ok? So you can take that. Ignore this line. I'm ignoring it. So I'm just drawing my own line here. So can't you draw the triangle with the 60 degree? Yeah, you can, but I want to... Um, you can possibly. I, it's still going to be very big. Ok, we'll just draw our own line as a start, we call that A, we call that B, ok alright, what, this is the known one, now we have to draw a hexagon inside of a triangle, alright so let's start with that, so let's start with what we can do, we can do this big triangle construction lines, you can zoom in nicely on this, you can ignore this one, let's ignore that one Right. Okay. Okay. 
why don't you learn um, how do we get a circle on the inside? Because if I have a circle, can I divide a circle into six equal parts? Yeah, yeah. And if you look here, I have six equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as I can circle here, can take and I give you a bit of a tip here. As I can circle, can take it. Dan het ek my 6 gelijke dele. So you can use the second drawing as a bit of a hint for you. So to draw a circle that's inside this triangle, what do I have to do? In the previous one, we did by sectors. Now we're going to do by secting a corner. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're going to take our compass. Any radius, right, any radius, make a mark this side, make a mark that side, next step, make a mark, make a mark, that's one construction line, now we've bisected this first corner, we now die ook al vier, now can I get another one, okay, come on, let's kies my D on this side, can I my, my, Radius kan ik nu van ander as ek wil. Kom ons van ander om aan en sê, we sien jy, jokkie. Boogie, boogie, selde radius. Ok. En die trek vir hom. Waar die twee lijnen by mekaar kom, is die middelpunt. Ok, that's the center of my triangle. If I now sit my radius to touch that side. You'll see it's going to touch on the inside, all of these. See, you did. Okay? So now I can draw a construction circle, yes or no? Yes. It's just construction, it's a construction. And now I can do one or two of two things. Using my 60 degree, I can get, get my six divisions here. There's one. So make that a dot, make that a dot, flip that. And the perpendicular one goes. So there's one, and there's one. What do you see? Six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can go and I can join them in. Right, and then I'm just going to fill out, I know there's a line from this corner to that corner. Nice and dark, same this side. So I'm copying that which is given to me. And the last one here. And then when I'm finished, I'm always going to double check the given drawing and that which I drew that I got all the lines drawn. Okay? So I've got all those lines drawn. These are still construction lines. They can be a bit lighter, of course, if you want. But I wanted you to see that. So that's how you do it. I ignore the bottom line just for size-wise. If you have a compass that works, that's fine. But the, the practice here is to be able to draw it. So the size doesn't matter that much. All right, that's in 410, two drawings, back to back, now it's your turn.